Welcome back, David. It's great to do an in-person session with you today here in Canberra. We've spent the day here in meetings. We're obviously reeling here in Australia from the recent breach that was Latitude Finance and the unfortunate number of people that are impacted by that. And obviously we recently had the T-Mobile breach in the US as well, which has impacted a lot of people. I just wonder if you could talk a little bit about that monetary impact of those breaches, but probably specifically T-Mobile. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it feels like I brought the rain here to Australia, plus I brought uh, breaches. When I was here last October, we had the better game, you know, so after this breach, I went back to US and then T-Mobile, T-Mobile breach. And I came back and recently there is another breach here in Australia. So um, I think one of the, there's actually multiple impacts to a uh, privacy breach. Uh, for one, the, for the corporation, it's really the impact to the credibility of the organization. My, I've seen it across the board, right? Even within the US in the past 10 years, that has been quite of a focus within the uh, regulators wanting to make sure that people are, act enterprises are actually doing what's necessary to protect the privacy data. And when you have that, uh, the people just, you just erode the, the confidence that people have about this corporation. All the, all the marketing dollars spent, all the positive images built about this organization will be eroded or has been eroded simply because of not paying the necessary care on protecting the privacy data. Oh, brilliant, yeah. So I guess the, from a credibility impact, that's massive, right? The, and it's probably really hard to come back from that as well. I mean, we'll talk about the monetary impact later, but what about the impact to the citizens, to the people that are affected? Oh, so, you know, poor people, right? So within the US, the, there's actually a requirement for any enterprises that actually engage in the, uh, that has a situation where uh, there are privacy data breach. The enterprise is actually uh, responsible for a two-year credit monitoring. So why why would Congress do some, something like that? The bottom line is that these people are uh, potentially having their credit score ruined or potentially that have some sort of financial, adverse financial impact. And that's why there is the necessary policy to rule to make sure that there's credit monitoring. But at the same time that, you know, people are just feeling like I pay into your ser your services, your organization, and you're not doing your due diligence to help protect you. So I would sense that there's a lot of frustration coming from a citizen perspective. And I guess, yeah, people just feel like they're really, yeah, ripped off by the whole process, right? And even after two years, that identity impact can still be significant. So, I mean, organizations always look at the bottom line. What about a monetary impact? Well, monetary impact, so for one, the, the company would lose the, the necessary uh, brand value, right? So marketing dollars, that's one. The other one is that they probably lost market shares as well as stock value. I mean, I I would imagine that, you know, when Optus was going through this uh, back in October, the stock, uh, the stock price has actually plunged quite a bit. And at the same time that, you know, you have the unhappy customers basically going away from, uh, from being a loyal customer to the, to the enterprise. And then the government is levying fines, right? So my understanding is that Australian government's levying $50 million on any any potential breach issues. So those are the some of the higher level uh, monetary impact directly to the enterprises. Yeah, great, thank you. So I mean, the $50 million fine, but I think even with Medibank, they, they wiped $2 billion off their stock value sort of, you know, in the wake of this breach. That's a significant number. Uh, great to meet up with you personally. Thank you for those insights, and we look forward to seeing you on the next part of this. Great, thanks for having me. Well, that's it for Monday Minutes, episode three. The breaches we just heard about certainly underscore the growing vulnerability organizations face to sophisticated cyber threats, regardless of their size or industry. Throughout the discussion with David, we aim to shed light on the multi-faceted impacts of privacy data breaches. Our hope is to increase awareness for the need for comprehensive cybersecurity programs and proactive risk mitigation. Stay tuned for the next episode where we will continue to part two of this topic and explore the people, process and technology aspects of privacy data breaches and how to build a more resilient security posture. If you like what you're seeing, be sure to share it, hit the like button and we'll catch you in a fortnight.